So the purpose of this video is to introduce you to what I'm going to call flex lessons, where some periods are scheduled for out of class work, and to kind of show you how to get around and manage all the different things we need to use to in order to get that work done, and to end with a few tips on how to succeed in a course like this. So basically, there's a few different components to our out of class work that you will need to access online. One of those is email. Another one of those is Prezi. You'll get links to Prezi through your email. Another one is Moodle. And optional is also OneNote. And I'll go through and explain each of these and how you access them and what you can do with each one. So let's start with email. You have a CC School email address, and you will need to be able to access that in order to get the content for this course. You can access your school email by going to this web address, outlook.com slash ccschool.ca, and there you'll be asked to enter your credentials. Your email address is of the format firstname.lastname at student.ccschool.ca. It's important when you're entering your username and password that you put the at student.ccschool.ca. Don't assume it knows that because it doesn't. Um, so enter your username there. Your password is the same password you use to log into school computers. Once you log into your email, uh, you'll be able to see your mail, but this will also be the home base for some of the other things we'll do, which I'll show you in a minute. I just like to also note that if you prefer using a mobile device, you can also download an Outlook app, and then you can set it up to permanently check your mail, and it can notify you if you prefer to do it that way, if you have access to a mobile device. So email is where we're going to get links to our lessons. It's important that you stay up to date because sometimes I will need to send out information about classes being canceled or uh, times you're expected to come to school or things like that also over email. A lot of the lessons that you'll have to do at home uh, will be video lessons. There may also be worksheets to print. There may be questions to do out of your textbook or something like that. But oftentimes, the video lessons will be embedded in a Prezi. And a Prezi is a sort of a presentation software. You might think of it similar to PowerPoint, but it's slightly different. You'll get a Prezi link in your email. And basically, that link will take you to a website called Prezi.com, and you'll be able to play through that presentation. So here's a sample of one of the lessons of this year. Um, this happens to be a lesson on refraction and diffraction of waves. So you could click through. It'll take you right through what's assigned. It might be a video embedded in there. It'll automatically play the video as you go, etc. I'd like to introduce. So within that Prezi is going to be the actual presentation, the lesson. There might also be a homework assignment, basically whatever you're going to need to do in order to get the lesson done. The third item on our list is Moodle. Either in your email or in your Prezi, you'll also get a link to a Moodle quiz. Um, well, I shouldn't say only quiz. There's more things on Moodle. Moodle is a learning platform. You might be able to access more course content, but most often I'm going to be doing short little quizzes, which you can think of as homework checks. Basically, just to cover the basic content material. So they're not going to be in-depth written response questions like you'll get on a test, but more like questions to see whether you understand what's going on. Some multiple choice with some other types as well. Moodle can, of course, be accessed through the links that I send you in the email or in the Prezi, but you can also go to Moodle directly. It's also moodle.com slash ccschool.ca, so very much like the email link. Once again, the CCS Moodle site will use the same credentials as your normal computer login or as your email login. This time you don't have to include the at student.ccschool.ca if you don't want. So basically, first name dot last name is your username and your regular computer password. Once you're signed in, you'll see Physics 20 as the course or whatever other course you're enrolled in. So you can go ahead and click on that. Or once again, if you access this through a link, you'll be taken directly to the, the quiz or whatever you accessed. From here, you can click on whatever materials and resources are given to you or find any 
quizzes, which you're expected to complete. Quizzes have due dates, so make sure you complete them by the appointed time. Last on our list is OneNote, and I said OneNote was optional, but I highly recommend you look at what's available to you there because it's a powerful resource. If you go back to your email, you'll see along the top bar of the screen that there's a symbol with nine blocks in a square. On my computer right now, this is on the top right corner. Often it's on the top left corner. But if you click on that, you'll see a bunch of different apps, and one of those is OneNote. And in OneNote, you'll be able to access all the notes that I take while I'm making the class videos. So basically, as I'm making this video right now, I am writing things down in OneNote. So whenever I'm scribbling on the screen, I'm using this program called OneNote. And I save all of these lessons in a place where you can access them so you can go back and look later and see some of the notes without having to watch the entire video or find the location in the video where it shows up. If you navigate within OneNote to our Physics 20 notebook, you'll be able to find all of these lessons that I made. So I'm just going to click on one of them. Under the content libraries where you'll find the notes, and they're arranged into our units. So if you click on one of them, now these are future ones, of course, we haven't studied yet. But you'll be able to see the notes that I've drawn on the screen while I was making a certain lesson video. So this is just a quick way to page through the notes, double check how to do a type of question or use a formula, and it should be very useful to you. Once again, that's accessed through email, or I should say through Outlook Online. So you could go there, right into OneNote, and you should be able to find this lesson, this screen, in your OneNote notebook. Now I'm going to go ahead and mention a few tips that I think are important for you to succeed in this type of course. The main tip I can give you is keep up. Don't ever fall behind on your work. Don't procrastinate. Try to keep up. If you're assigned homework for a certain period, make sure it gets done. And in case that's a challenge for you, you can always use the class periods that we skip to actually do the work. So what I mean is, if we have a period off at school, you can go to the library or a computer lab, find a computer, log in, you can access all of the things at school, and you should have no problem completing the lessons at school. That should make you fairly successful in this course. If you ever have trouble accessing any of the things that you need, please be sure to contact me right away. It could be by email, it could be stopping by my classroom, but I need to know as soon as possible in order for you to be able to stay up to date in this course. I hope you enjoy the format and the flexibility we gain by using Flex Lessons. Enjoy.